Laser 103.3, broadcasting live from the Come and Go studio at LaserFest. The band that will cap off this brilliant evening joins me here at the Come and Go studios. It is Alice in Chains. Ladies and gentlemen, our headliner of tonight's big show. Guys, thank you so much for your time, first of all. Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Have you ever done an interview in a barn such as this? No. Feels like I should be bidding on a prize cow or something. As I told you a few minutes ago, William, if you had about 50 grand to throw down right now, this could all be yours. Keep that in mind. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I heard you guys were uh, poking around Des Moines a little bit last night. Uh, Got to take in some sights. What'd you do? Saw the Dillinger escape plan. Yes. Yes. It was amazing. Good show? Amazing. Yep. We went to, uh, Sean and I went to Zombie Burger, and uh, fantastic, fantastic burger. I went there, too. That was good. Was Everybody pretty... went there, but separately, which was weird. Yeah, went there Zombie Burger was pretty happening. And when I we went I, in, I, I took the, the crew, uh, show. Took the crew bowling as well. I was the last oh. to show, like, in the early, like, evening. And they said, everybody's been in here but you. I'm like, well, now, <laughs> now, now we're complete. Did, some vinyl too. did they make? Oh, did you? Where did you go for that? Do you remember the place? There's that place in town where they have the uh, like three shops right there. Yes. A couple pawn stores. You actually there. found that. Yeah, yeah. My tech knows the guy, so he took me over there and Highland Park spent neighborhood. Uh, three hundred bucks on vinyl. That's Led cool. Bootlegs, all kinds of stuff. So you found some really good stuff. Yeah, amazing. It's like hard to town. believe that that's sitting there waiting for Mike Inez of all people to come along and snatch that <laughs> right up. It's probably not even Zeppelin, you know. <laughs> it's probably somebody else, but. Zed, nice red cover. Zed Leplin, yeah. You better look at the writing really close. You keep a record player on your bus or something, or what? Oh, no. We, uh, <laughs> I can't even work my iPhone. So. He doesn't even have one at home. Just, <laughs> it's just cool to collect vinyl now, so he's like hip to do, right? Sure. He doesn't even have a record player. Absolutely. That's the coolest right there. Yeah, yeah and well, the last time, you do. It's like, oh, I've years. Last time we were at Hellfest, he was on the hunt for the uh, Bon Jovi picture yeah, disc yeah. for his wife. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, my wife. Right. That, that went a yeah, long right. way. That, that went a long way. I got a lot of I mileage out of it, if you know what I mean. All the way from France. You'd be amazed at how many Bon Jovi fans are here today. It's amazing. But they're bigger Alice in Chains fans. Uh, guys, a new album coming out here in a matter of, uh, we're less than three weeks away from the drop of uh, put, uh, The Devil Put Dinosaurs Here, which is such a, a cool and unique and out of left field title for an album. Um, Tell me a little bit about the hollow situation. I remember uh, the story of how uh, that was supposed to be kind of like uh, what you guys did with a looking in view off of uh, Black Gives Away to Blue. Uh, radio stations like ours picked up on it, made it number one on the charts, and before you knew it, you had a big hit off of this new record. Yeah, well, that's the deal. You guys and the people who wanted to hear the song made it that. We, we just kind of kind of gave a sample out, and it kind of took off from there. It was a really nice surprise, you know, so it... Yeah. Wasn't planning on being a single, but turned out to be a number one single. Not bad. No, the not luxury bad. Luxury yeah. problem. Yes. Yeah. And then, of course, Stone is the new single, which, of course, we're already on. And it's, uh, it, uh, you don't have to ask us twice to play new music from Alice in Chains. So um, another thing I wanted to ask about was uh, the EPK you guys did uh, that ended up on Funny or Die, because I thought it was, I, I have to be honest, if, uh, if our listeners have seen it, I didn't realize it was the four of you in the video at first. <laughs> Didn't. Took me a while. My own mom, believe it or not, <laughs> saw it. She's like, I saw that thing you guys did. Where'd you find those guys? <laughs> I'm really? like, you're kidding, right? Oh, you my God. Because I was pretty sure I told her, like, oh, man, we got this site. We're going to make this thing. And, uh, yeah, she didn't know either. So. Well, you're, we're used to off-the-cuff EPKs. In the past, you did the Nona tapes, which I thought were amazing, obviously. Yeah, you know, and we, we I mean, uh, we, we did one on the last one, too. We were all getting the kiss makeup put on, too. <laughs> did our laundry. Yeah, did yeah our we got laundry. made up as each character of kiss and then went and did our laundry. Oh it's, my it's always God. been kind of an odd thing to, since we did those first ones, uh, you know, Sean, Sean brought, up, brought this up, and I forgot that uh, the radio company wanted us to do, uh, radio st- uh, company wanted us to do that, or record company, excuse me, uh, an EPK, a pre-interview for people to interview you, which just yeah. blew our minds. So we just took the piss out of ourselves, and they hated it. They hated it. They man. were really mad. <laughs> they were not happy They're that really we mad. did the notice. I have to meet the McClard character. I have to meet that guy. He's Earl. One Earl of Brown. a kind. One of a kind. Yeah, he's, no that's doubt. Uh, Earl Brown. From you ever watch Deadwood? Uh, I have seen it, but it's been a long time. Yeah, obviously, he was, was Swergeon's hitman, Dan. And he's, he's no a, way, really. Yeah, yeah. and. Wow. He was also he was, the. He was, he was Warren from uh, something about Mary. No, yeah. that's the same guy. That's the same dude. Mm-hmm. We're yeah. having a breakthrough here on the air today. I had no idea. That was awesome. He's a professional actor. Well, 
Obviously, right? But you guys have done a little acting, too. Uh, so, you know. We're going to act like we're a rock band tonight when we get up there. We're going to act like we know what we're doing. And that's, we and that's the best acting job in the world. We're going to fool the crap out of these people. We're going to act <laughs> like we're up there, like we know what we're doing, like we play and everything. We're going to do our best. Sometimes the, the kids see through it. Sometimes they see through it, especially when our tapes, our Pro Tools machine breaks down. We're just stuck <laughs> there. Or the, you know, the or, light, or lights are too bright, and you can I'm see the through the, the makeup man. and the, I'm the, man. the wigs. Yeah. And you put you can the, see through the wigs. If you're wearing a certain kind of sunglass, you can see that you guys aren't human, right? Like yeah. that movie, uh, They Live. Oh, yeah, remember yeah, yeah. that movie? It was a quality film. <laughs> Rowdy Roddy Piper. He was in yeah, that movie yeah. and one of the best fight <laughs> scenes of all time, right? Yeah. Great actor. He's a great oh. actor. I don't know why he didn't go on to do a lot more movies. I, I <laughs> His wrestling career took off after that, I heard. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, we're honored to have you here tonight. Uh, 1030 stage time, headlining Laser Fest. Uh, this has been a work in progress for us at the radio station for a few years now. We've uh, really wanted to have you guys at our show, so to finally see that come to fruition is... Uh, it's really an honor. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Alice in Chains, again, taking the Meskwaki stage at about 10.30 this evening. New album coming out on the 28th. The Devil Put Dinosaurs here.